The Ultimate Guide to Understanding, Be All and End All. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase that you might have come across in books, movies, or even everyday conversations, be all and end all. This expression is rich in meaning and history, and understanding it can add depth to your English comprehension. So, let's explore what it means, where it comes from, and how you can use it effectively in your own communication. The phrase, be all and end all, refers to something that is considered to be the most important aspect or the ultimate goal of a situation or life in general. It's used to emphasize that nothing is considered more crucial or significant than the subject in question. Imagine something so vital that if you achieve it, nothing else matters. That's what this phrase encapsulates. Interestingly, the origin of be all and end all can be traced back to William Shakespeare. Yes, the bard himself. It was first used in his tragedy, Macbeth, where Macbeth contemplates the significance and consequences of murdering King Duncan. This historical connection not only shows the phrase's longevity but also its significance in English literature. Now, let's see how this phrase is used in modern English. Here are a few examples. For some people, getting into a good college is the be-all and end-all of their educational journey. He thought that winning the championship would be the be-all and end-all of his career, but he realized there's more to life than just winning titles. These examples show that the phrase can be applied in various contexts, from personal achievements to professional goals. Understanding when and how to use this phrase can significantly enhance your English communication skills. Here are a few tips. Use it to emphasize the ultimate importance of something in a discussion or argument. It can be a powerful tool in persuasive writing or speech, helping to convey the significance of your point. However, use it sparingly, as its impact comes from its emphasis on ultimate significance. We hope this guide has shed light on the meaning, origins, and uses of the phrase, be all and end all. English is a language rich in expressions that can add depth and precision to your communication, and understanding these phrases can make you a more effective speaker and writer. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the English language. Happy learning!